Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So, I have a little flip through of a book I got uh, recently. And uh, I don't know how many this will interest, but I have several of these types of books. And um, this probably is the most beautiful one yet. I, I have um, a, a couple of these type books. And, and as I said, they're just... They're usually, the paper quality is really nice. They're, you can tear, you know, the perforated, all this jazz. But this one is Color the Promises of God. Renew your mind and spirit through coloring and meditating on God's words to you. But look at this cover. I mean, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I mean, sorry for the reflection of the ring, ring light. Um, but... Yeah, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I mean, it's got the little metallic type. This is so beautiful. Um, and then this is the back side of it. Uh, it was like 10 bucks, man. It, it, it's, it, it's such an amazing book. Um, I think... Let me see if I can make sure. There's your title page. I'm trying to see if, I think it's various artists, um, designed by Christian art publishers, uh, images used under license from Shutterstock, uh, scripture quotations are from the Holy Bible, English Standard Version, which eh, is not my favorite, but eh, it's okay, it's better than the King James, ESV, um, yeah, English Standard Version. Um, and there's some that I guess were taken from uh, the New International. Uh, there is a New King James um, and the New Living. Also, um, New Century Version? Well, that's a new one on me. Hmm. Never heard of that one. But... That's how that is. So I just I, I'm like this cover is so gorgeous. Let me go with this. But yeah, I like I said I have multiples of these kinds of books and they are always really nice. Um, as you can see, hopefully, let me move this over. That it's perforated. So I'll scooch in so you can see how it's perforated. They're all perforated like that. So let's go back out. And uh, the paper is nice, thick cardstock. I wouldn't use an excessive amount of wet media. I don't think it has enough. It's heavy, but it's not like you could do light stuff, maybe like uh, distress ink or maybe a little gelato. Um, but I wouldn't go like full on with the watercolor. I don't think it's. I wouldn't suggest it. Um, I have not tried it in any of these books yet, but um, they're all perforated, so you can just tear them out. In my case, I can tear it out, take it over to my scanner that I have attached to one of my printers, and print it out on different paper and save the original image. So I can. That's how I make my coloring books last longer. So I try to find ones that are perforated like this, so I don't have to grab my little, uh, sorry for the reach, grab my little knife and cut them out. <laughs> but look at this, it's uh, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and these things will be given to you as well. I mean, and then here's some more, um, I love, I love all of this Isaiah. It's just beautiful stuff. Don't be afraid for I am with you. Don't be discouraged for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. And that's from Isaiah. Isaiah and e Ezekiel are really amazing, amazing books in the Old Testament. Lots of cool stuff to be gleaned from them. My grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. Absolutely. 
Now this would be a fun one to color. All that stone. That would be absolutely a lot of fun to color. Let me see, I think it might be a little bigger. There we go. Ooh, look at this one. I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. Oh, wow. You see, I like this part of it right here. I'm not too crazy about all this doodly crap around it. <laughs> but I like this image. And this, I'm going to take this part of it and um, I'm probably going to trace it with my backlight. Um, not, not to claim as my own or anything like that, just as, you know, like a, um, a reference for me to use for other things. Giving them, of course, appropriate credit. Should I use it in an image, I would, of course, do that. Um, yeah. So, I think you could do markers, especially because it's, you know, there's, it's one-sided too, which is another great thing. But I, I would really be very cautious about the um, the watercolor. But I, it seems like it's thick enough to uh, take pretty much anything else. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Oh man, this is so beautiful. Uh, this book is just like, I'm like going bonkers over this book. But there was one image in particular that I was the reason I got it. Um, ooh. Mm, just, I like this one a lot. Some I like more than others. That's pretty common, I think, in coloring book. You're going to find some pages you like more than others. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I know the rest of it, but, you know, they just do it like a little bit. This is one of my absolute favorites. Hmm. That's gorgeous. This is why I got this book. This image right here. I wrote a poem about a lady warrior and this really fits who 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 was a, a Christian. Kind of like um she was, you know, fighting fighting battles and and stuff like that, working her way toward you know, battling her way through different things. And this just fits that poem so perfectly. It is, it kind of like stunned me for a second. I thought, how appropriate is this? So I will be um, taking this image and scanning it onto some like watercolor paper or something like that. And, or mixed media and just going, Ham hog on it. <laughs> this is a, one of my other favorites. I mean, aren't these absolutely gorgeous? So they're detailed, but they're not like uber detailed. Like mythomorphia, uh, mythographic books or Kirby books. They're, they're not that detailed. I think the good Lord, because sometimes those books are a bit much. But this is about as detailed as it gets. It can be a little overly doodly, like you saw in that one with the world image. It can be a little overly doodly, but this one is not too bad on that. I adore this book. Oh my gosh. Oh! I would get a chance to practice the grapes tutorial that Monya Gates did for us some time back. This would give me a chance to practice that. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I'm the alpha and the mega, the beginning, the end. Oh, I got that right. Oh, man, this book is just gorgeous. It really is. Hmm, it's intriguing. 
Ah, love this one. Oops, hold on. I think I skipped one. Oh man, this is one of my favorites. Love it. I like this one. This could be fun. This could be a fun image to do with markers, I think, and some gelatos, maybe. Hmm. You see, there's a lot of different images. They're not all, re there's no repeats. And it's all one-sided, perforated to come out easily. This is good. So if this is something you're into, um, go for it. Uh, I got this, well, I'm sure it's available on Amazon. I bought this at my local uh, exchange. I, I live in a military facility. So um, they have several of these kinds. They have a whole little section that has just like uh, biblical type bi uh, Bibles, uh, coloring books like this, uh, word searches, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Bible study type things. It's a whole like a little, I don't know, chest high uh, freestanding, you know, Thing that you can just walk around and look at look different things it's that's where I got it so I would suggest you know looking around on Amazon um, or a, a Christian bookstore something like that maybe I don't know how many of those still exist to be honest it's kind of sad I don't see too many anymore um, oh and now what's really cool I'm gonna turn this around hold on there we go. How cool is that? There are little bookmarks that you can cut out and color and or laminate then if you wanted to. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, let's see if there's more. Oh, there's more. Excuse me, I'm gonna turn this back around again. Oopsie, there's more. Yeah, you could color them and then la I've got a laminator, so I could color these and do, give them away as gifts. Um, here's some little postcards. Let's see, let me make sure I'm on screen. There we go, okay. So there's some little postcards. Nice. <gasps> Look, little tags, like little gift tags and stuff. How cute is that? Isn't this amazing? I. Uh, you know, I love these kinds of books. They're always really, really cool books. So, um, so if this is something you guys are into, it is ten dollars. Um, it is absolutely well worth it. Um, I did find other some of the other books that I have. They're all right around the same price. Some are a little less. Um, some a touch more. But there's if you just type in Christian coloring books for adults, you'll see many of the other books that I have by them. Um, the, I mean, considering they're like perforated, one-sided, nice thick cardstock. Um, if you don't want to, you know, do what I do, which is like scan them onto different paper just to make the book last. I mean, for 10 bucks, you know, it's really, it's really a great value. I mean, you know, considering you get not only all these pages, but then you get, you know, the bookmarks and the postcards and the tags, it's a fantastic value for, for your money. So yeah, if this is something that interests you, um, 
just check it out on Amazon. Just type in, uh, like I said, Christian coloring books for adults and just scroll down and eventually you'll, you'll come across it. Um, 10 bucks, man. You cannot beat that. So have a great one, guys. Bye.